I feel that when I'm helping others, I actually gain more than I give, and it empowers me to not be a victim of cancer, but to be a survivor. I heard about the Ovarian Cancer Alliance of Oregon and Southwest Washington from my good friend and longtime member, Anita Kravinsky, after my diagnosis. It would have been different without the Alliance. I would be lacking all my beautiful Teal sisters that support me, and I often try to sort of hide my struggles, but they see through that and they're there to be supportive. We celebrate each other's successes and we are there to support one another during difficult times. As soon as I heard about the program Survivors Teaching Students, I knew that I really wanted to take part in that program where survivors are write their story and we tell students who are going to be practitioners our particular story. Even though we all have ovarian cancer, nobody's cancer, nobody's journey is exactly the same. I also think it's important to help students put a face to a disease unlike a textbook and to know that we really are people and we are resilient. We are strong, and I think in many ways, we've helped students hopefully become better providers. Tony and I have been married for 51 and a half years. He's been a wonderful life partner, um, my best friend. And I certainly couldn't have made it through the last three years without him. So I want women and their families to know what the symptoms are, not to be afraid, but, but knowledge is power and they have control over their health and well-being. I also want them to know that a diagnosis of ovarian cancer doesn't mean you're alone. You have a built-in community of sisterhood, fellowship, educational opportunities, and support. I am grateful for the Alliance, for the opportunities it's offered me, and for the friendships, although I wish we had all met under different circumstances. I am grateful that I have this community to walk this path with.